Howdy folks, welcome back. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I wanted to do an update review because I got this boat, I'm pretty sure, over a year ago. Right at the same time the Paolo Emilio was coming out. Uh, me thinking, because I didn't have the Paolo Emilio, that this boat would be just like her. But Tier 6, and boy was I wrong. So, the Leone, which is now part of Part 2 of the Italian Destroyers. Uh, when you finish all the missions and get all the, um, uh, the ribbons and whatnot... You do collect all 36 containers, which is not bad. There's a lot in the containers. You get this boat. Uh, if you're thinking it's going to be equivalent to the Abbey, which is the Tier 6 one, uh, the Tech Tree, no. You got a Palo Emilio? No. I consider this boat to be one of the top three worst destroyers in the game. It is hard to play. Harder than the Palo Emilio, harder than the FR-25, and harder than the entire Tech Tree of the Italian line. It only comes with four torpedoes that reload every 60 seconds. My T-61 is eight torpedoes every 60 seconds. They're not bad for damage. I mean, I just did 20,000 damage there. And the guns reload every 10 seconds. She is hard to play. She's not for the faint of heart, basically. But as always, let's do a, an updated review and get into it. Um, I'm in an up-tiered match, of course. I'm in a tier seven match. So the first thing I wanna talk about is her armor layout. She does have 16 mil on both front and uh, or bow and front and side. That's equivalent to uh, um, the tier 10 and mino. So it's not bad. I mean, you can ricochet. Um, you're not going to ricochet battleships and or cruiser, most of the cruisers, but it does work. Here's the Avery, the tier 6, and she has the same thing, as opposed to tier 4 and tier 5 tech tree, which are, I think are 10 mil. And the FR-25 has the same. The FR-25, great boat. I've already featured that in another video. But back to Leone. So we'll just close that up. Her survivability is only 13.7, spec'd out. So she doesn't have a lot of hit points. So you got to be careful with it. I'll get into the artillery and torpedoes a bit later, as I always do. And maneuverability is 3.4 seconds for rudership, which is actually not bad, but she is only 35.7 with a speed flag, and her turning is a little sluggish. Detectability is 6.3, so you can imagine if you're going up against Tier 4, Tier 5, 6, 7, and 8 boats, you're going to be outspotted by probably over half the DDs, especially the Japanese line, but not the French line. <laughs> As a premium boat, everything is pretty much updated and standard for her. I always take main arm modification. That's the standard for me. I always take engine room protection. I do take, um, for me, the next one is is the um, aiming modification one, because I do want to hit with my guns and, and torpedoes. I mean, you got very little. I do take propulsion modification with this boat. That and the speed boost actually does help. She does have high explosive with 20 millimeters of pen, 8% fire chance, but her guns fire every 10 seconds. That's up there with like Italian cruisers. It's it's terrible. It's not good. Armor piercing, I can't remember exactly what you can penetrate, but again, it, they're, they're not big guns. They're very small guns. And the range is 12.1 kilometers to shoot. Um, let me see, they're 120s? Yeah, you're not gonna penetrate anything that's armor-based. You're better off just firing high explosive. Let me close that back up. Torpedoes are 60 second reload, so there's four torpedoes. They're 12 kilometers, which isn't bad, but they're 51 knots. I have never seen the 13th uh, 300 to hit. They're usually in about the 10 or 11,000 range because of torpedo protection, but they're 51 knots. They are, I think, the slowest torpedoes in the game, other than the 10 or tier 10 Black Destroyer. She's got a re uh, repair, she's got smoke which is 34.5 seconds, which is actually pretty decent. You can lay out a pretty thick smoke screen for your cruisers, and it lasts uh, quite a bit, 120 seconds, I believe it is. Speed boost, plus 8%, not 20%, like the tech trees and whatnot, but it lasts two minutes, which is really good. That, with uh, a couple of the captain skills, is fantastic. I'm going to the exterior. You can see my flags. I uh, want to point out one that I think is critical for this, and that is, what's it called, Juliet Whiskey... I can never see that last name. It's a plus 15% flood chance. It does help with torpedo protection because that's about what she is, is a very bad torpedo boat at long distance. I have a standard camo on it. I have a lot of camo still left. Welcome to Santa Crates 2018. Went a little overboard that year. Merry Christmas to me. I do take grease the gears because the guns do turn slowly. I do take demolition expert because I want better fire chance. I always take adrenaline rush. Always, always, always. Now, the next one for me is Superintendent. You only get two smoke charges. I, I need the third one, especially late in the game. I have noticed that. And for me, for all my Italian ships and a lot of my destroyers now, I'm taking Swift and Silent. It's an automatic plus 8% speed boost. You're not detected. Concealment. These boats need it or you're dead. And Dazzle. I'm really impressed with this skill. 
That extra plus 20% of dispersion for 15 seconds really makes a difference. Again, aircraft carriers, destroyers, cruisers, you name it, it does help. Especially when you screw up and you overextend, you're trying to get out. But hey, let's go look at uh, AA. In the mortar words of Gomer Powell, you know, surprise, surprise, AA sucks. Dazzle is what gives you the benefit of that 20% for 15 seconds, which for rocket planes is going to be that, that one shot. The only way Italian destroyer is going to kill or stop anti-aircraft is going to kill the carrier itself. That's about all the option you have. And even then, the torpedoes aren't that great. Like I said, you got four, so if you don't kill it one strike, she's going to kill you with secondaries. Overall, I I, uh, I I I don't like this boat, and it's funny. I went and played a few more games here, and I'm, this is my first game back in it after a year, and of course, we win, and I'm top player. And I, it's not that I don't like it because it's a crappy boat. It's a really, really hard boat to play. It is harder. It's the hardest Italian boat to play in the tech tree. All of it, and completely the, including the tech tree, the FR-25, the Pablo Emilio. It is the hardest destroyer, I think, in the game at Tier 6 to play because you will see Tier 8 and Tier 7 matches. Here's my point when I didn't realize. The shiny horse is looking right at me with the front guns, and I'm out of the smoke. My boo-boo. Like I said, if you get it at the end of it, the, the doing the 36 containers and, and the, uh, the the run to do it, it's fantastic. Um, but if you do have it already, you're going to get, I think it's five or 6,000 doubloons, which is nothing to sneeze at. So, as always, leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and always take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.